The topic of this video is composing functions. Let's look at a problem. Given the graph below, find f composed with g of 4 and g composed with f of 0. All right, so we have one graph grid with two curves on it. The red curve at the top here is g of x, and the blue curve at the bottom here is f of x. Uh, you'll notice that I refer to this as a curve, even though it consists of two straight line segments. Curve is a generic term in algebra that applies whether it happens to be straight or curvy. Okay, so before we actually begin this problem, let's just briefly review how to interpret information presented in a graph. For example, let's take a look at one of the points shown on our diagram here. Let's look at this point. Okay, this point has an x-coordinate of 7, and it has a y-coordinate of 6. So if I were to write that as an ordered pair, that would be the ordered pair 7, 6. Now, a skill that I hope that you picked up from a previous math class is that when you see f of x, you understand that that is an output, which means it is a value of the variable y. You've probably heard some folks say that f of x is the same thing as y. So let's see if we can turn our ordered pair into function notation using this idea that f of x equals y. An ordered pair consists of an x and a y. So if we replace the x with 7, and if we replace the y with 6 in our statement here, we'll turn our ordered pair into function notation. For example f of 7 equals 6. I replaced the x with 7, and I replaced the y with 6. This helps us understand the connection between ordered pairs and function notation. When you see something like f of 7 equals 6, what that's saying is the x coordinate is 7, and for function f, the y coordinate is 6. All right. Now let's go ahead and solve this two-part problem. First, we're asked to find f composed with g of 4. The first step is to rewrite using the definition, and we write the order of the letters as where they appear. f of g of 4, close parenthesis, close parenthesis. We look in the innermost parentheses, and we see here a number. So we're going to work from the inside out which means the first thing we need to do is figure out g of 4. If there is not a number here, if there is a letter here, then we will use a different approach that will be presented in a later video. Okay, so we need to know what is g of 4. Well, using this idea, g of 4, notice that the number inside the parentheses was a value of x. The same thing is true here. So this is telling me that x is 4, and I need to go to function g to figure out what y is. Input turns into output. Well, function g is my red curve here, and the point on function g that has an x value of 4 is this point right here. And it has a y value of positive 3. So that tells me that g of 4 is equal to positive 3. Everything else about the problem remains unchanged, and I simply write it around the work that I've already done. Okay, now I need to find f of 3. Once again, the number inside the parentheses is a value for x. So that's telling me x is 3, only this time I'm going to go to function f to see what the output is. So I find 3 on the x-axis, and specifically, I find which point on function f has an x-coordinate of 3, and then I determine its y-value, and the y-value is negative 4. So the answer to this question is negative 4. You can just write negative 4, or you can write f composed with g of 4 equals negative 4. Your choice. All right, let's do the second part of this problem. Find g composed with f of 0. The first step is to rewrite using the definition, and we write the definition in the order of the letters that we see here. So this will be g of f of 0. We notice that there is a number here, 
So we're going to work from the inside out. Okay, so that means x is zero and we're going to go to graph f to find what the y value is. So which point on the f graph has an x of zero? That would be this point right here. And its y value is negative one. So we now have a negative one in place of this f of zero. Everything else about the problem is copied down around it. Okay, the next step is negative one is in the parentheses, which makes it an input. It makes it an x value. So I need to go to function g, which is my red curvy graph, and I need to find the point with an x value of negative one. That would be this point right here. And then g of negative one would be its y value, which we can see is four. So we get our final answer, four. And if you prefer, instead of just writing four, you can write g composed with f of zero equals four. Both are acceptable.